So here's a quick highlight reel of a game on slums. Uh, the reason I'm posting this one is because one of the other team at the start of the game decided to tell us we were all going to get slapped. Now a couple of the guys did notice he had a 3 plus KD, a 4 plus win loss ratio. So you know, maybe it would happen. Maybe we would get slapped. But he was very cocky and very confident about it. And was doing a fair bit of trash talking in the lobby beforehand. So let's see what happened. Now that first clip with a nice aqua camo gun was Oliver. And this is me. And this will skip back and forth between the two of us until the game's done. If you can't tell the difference from the style of play, then you can certainly tell from the camo changes. The only thing this guy's trash organ achieved really was to make me switch up my classes. I had been knifing for the previous four games before this. And it actually has some nice clips for my um, little knife montages I do weekly. But when someone starts trash talking, it's always nice to throw on something like an AN94, uh, C4 and EMP. And just go all out to see if you can win and win well. Now, I get beat all the time in Call of Duty. And sometimes I even get slapped up quite badly, especially in league play. I'm not the greatest player on earth. The guys I'm playing with are just a group of friends hanging out. Not a serious team of pub stompers or anything. But it looks like this guy motivated Oliver quite well. He went off in this game getting a nice relentless medal and two VSATs. I had a fairly respectable game and got a VSAT of my own, which I was quite happy about. Not the most exciting of gameplays ever, but certainly very effective. So there's Oliver's only death, and as the gameplay winding up, Oliver gets a nice 25 to 1 and Skippy chips him with a 9 to 1 KD. So let's take a look at what happened to Trash Talker. There's this guy called Ice Bank Sheep. Interesting name. And let's see what he's using. Looks like he's using an M8. Oh, head straight for the head glitch, but still gets annihilated off it. He's using lightweight, toughness, and extreme conditioning. An M8, some nice low streaks. And he's got a B23R in his back pocket and a C4. Considering how confident this guy was, I was expecting to see him using maybe Swarm Dogs and VSAT. Uh, but instead he's using UAV, Hunter Killer and Lightning Strike. He's obviously confident about getting those streaks. Well, he does ruin skip his flawless game, uh, killing him there. But ultimately he's not managing to achieve a lot. He's picking up an odd kill here and there, but then getting annihilated. Luckily this gameplay doesn't go on too long, as this guy certainly didn't stay in for the full duration of the game. And soon Rage quits to protect his 3 plus KD. Which makes me wonder how many games he's Rage quit to protect his 3 plus KD. One of my pet hates for Call of Duty is people who dashboard just pad their stats. It's not like anyone cares. It just ruins the game. So as well as Rage quitting to protect his stats, this guy also sent Oliver a bunch of hate mail messages saying how Oliver was spawn trapping. But I'd like to point out this guy, he didn't die once off spawn. I killed him in mid-map virtually every time. So at 3 for 5 he's gone. And after all this I've got one thing to say to him. Oh and Pepper says you're a mug.